Hi everyone, welcome to Cook to Exploring Food with Spitty. What I'm getting ready to do is make homemade banana pudding. We are having dinner tomorrow and I thought I'd get an early jump start on it. So let me get my things together and I'll be back with you. Okay, let's get started. So what you need for this recipe is three cups of whole milk, three tablespoons of cornstarch, a pinch of salt, three-fourths cup of sugar, three egg yolks, a tablespoon of butter, and a teaspoon of pure vanilla. But since I'm making vanilla, banana pudding, I'm adding vanilla extract. So, let's get started here. So, in a small bowl, I'm going to whisk together a fourth cup of milk, which is, this is my fourth cup of milk. And three tablespoons of cornstarch. Let's pour that in. I'm pretty messy with cornstarch for some reason, I don't know. Let's pour that in and let's just start whisking it. Whisk it together until it's all incorporated. Okay. So, this recipe calls for three egg yolks. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my egg yolks ready. And then we set this aside. Make sure it's all whisked together. There's like air pockets in there. Where is that air pockets? Okay, so this is my cornstarch. So what I'm going to do, since I have to use egg yolks, I'm going to go ahead and separate my egg yolks. And then I don't have to do it later on. So I'm using a measuring cup. And I have an egg yolk separator. Which makes it a lot easier. But you can just do it the regular way. Okay, so that's one. So that's two. Three. And this will be our third one. And then this gives the eggs a chance to sit at room temperature for a minute before I go ahead and incorporate them into the hot mixture. Get this all done. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to get all this stuff off. Okay, so that's my three eggs. I'm just going to put this aside. So I'm not going to use it. So, to this, I'm going to add the rest of my milk. Okay, so I'm going to add my three-fourths cup of sugar to the milk. And then I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. Which a pinch of salt can be many things to people, but I'm going to use my rendition of a pinch. Okay, pinch of salt. So what I'm going to do is whisk this together, and you're going to heat this. You don't want it to boil. So I'm going to stir it, and when you come back, we'll have it on the stove. Okay, 
So, what I'm doing is stirring the milk, and I don't want it to get boil. I don't want it to come to a boil, and I don't want it to be re really hot. So, what I'm basically doing is just warming the milk and whisking it. Because what I'm going to do is temper my eggs with a half a cup of this mixture and then add it into here. So let's just keep stirring in the spoon. Okay. So I'm going to get this up to heat and I'll come back. Okay, so while my eggs are, my milk is warming, I'm going to go ahead and beat my eggs. until they are really beat together. Just whisking them together as my milk warms. And you're tempering these eggs like you would do if you were making a uh, homemade ice cream with eggs. Okay, as you can see, the milk is starting to steam. So what I'm going to do is add one fourth cup of this milk milk mixture into my eggs. So let's go over here, and I'll pour over the sink because I don't want to burn anybody. Because sometimes this burner has a tendency to fast. So, what I'm doing while my mixture is still boiling, let me move back so you can see. Mm -hmm. I have my egg mixture and I have my milk mixture. And what I'm doing is I'm going to pour and temper the milk into the eggs at the same time. So that the eggs don't cook. And then after I finish doing that, I'm going to add my mixture back into the pot. And to this mixture, I'm going to add in my corn salt mixture. Let's pour that in. Get it all whipped together. Hopefully I got enough of all that out. I think I did, but let's try getting more. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is just keep whisking this and cooking this until it starts to thicken. And then after that point, we'll put in our extra things that we need to put in. And I can already feel it starting to thicken. This is homemade banana pudding. I love banana pudding. I always have. So I'm going to keep stirring, and when it starts to thicken, I'll be back. Okay, if you look closely, you can see that it's starting to thicken up and boil. So I'm going to cook it for just a little bit more. I want to make sure that it's nice and thick. And then once I put this in the refrigerator, it'll be just fine. So let me get my other ingredients. So what I'm going to do is remove this from the heat because it's nice and thick. Turn my heat off. And to this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. And 
to that. I'm going to add a teaspoon. They tell you to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but I'm making banana pudding, so I'm using banana extract. So I'm going to use a teaspoon of that. Put that in. If I was making vanilla, I would do vanilla, but I'm not. So let's get it all whisk around. Mmm, it smells really delicious. Get that butter all melted. Give it a taste. Mmm, nice and banana -y. Okay, so I'm going to let that get a little cool. Let's get to our next setup here. Okay. Let's make this so you can see. Okay, now that I've got my banana pudding all cooked, and I'm letting it cool a little bit before I pour it on, but I'm going to put my vanilla chocolate in it, in, on the bottom. And, uh, you can use the bigger cookies, but the uh, person who bought these bought the wrong size, but I'm making do with what I got. And what I'm going to do is just smash them like so. A little bit more. And these are really. Cool. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my banana. And I'm going to give it a peel, as you can see. And then I'm going to cut up a little banana in here. Some people may stir theirs in, but I've always just cut it in like this. I like it this way. So I'm cutting up my bananas to put in the bottom. And you can put as many bananas as you like. If you're not a big banana person and you don't want a lot of bananas, you don't have to put them in. Okay, so I'm going to pour some of this pudding in. Well, as a matter of fact, I guess I'm going to pour it all in. And I always make small batches of stuff because and you don't need a lot of batches of stuff, so I'm going to put some crackers in here, just to place them around. And then what I'm going to do is put another banana on. Because we happen to like banana. I'm not a big banana by itself, but I do like it on pudding. So I'm going to put some more banana around. There we go. Um, you know, crushing up a cookie on top. And then what I'm going to do is let this cool down. 
And once it cools down, which it's almost about there, I'm going to put a layer of Cool Whip on top. So let's let this cool. Okay, so now that it's cooled down, some people put egg white on theirs. Me personally, I like um, whipped cream. So I'm adding whipped cream to the top. And then what I'm going to do is put this in the refrigerator and let it cool on down overnight because we're not having it until tomorrow. So that's a good time to cool. Just going to add it in there. Yeah, I've never liked egg whites. So this is just regular Cool Whip and put it on. Nothing fancy. Fancy snancy. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit more cookies on top. Just stick them in the And you know what? I really do kind of like the size of the cookies. They're not too big. So. And then what I might do tomorrow before I serve it is cut up another banana on top. And the reason why I'm not doing it tonight is because it will turn brown and I don't want brown bananas. <clears throat> I said I don't want brown bananas. So... This is really, really a good pudding. And you can take this pudding and you can make any kind you want. Strawberry, if you have the flavoring, any of that will work. Vanilla, that's what you like. So, what I'm going to do is to top this with a piece of parchment paper. And then that'll keep anything from falling into it. I mean, have still one. Oh. No, that doesn't tear very good. I'm going to cook this. Later, and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And we'll see what we have tomorrow. 